air while making the potion. Ew. Oh, I got some nice bling bling armor. Look at that. Yeah, looking very snazzy. Yeah. Alright, so inventory. Now I get a. Yeah, okay, which is steel sword. I think I'll use the, the thing. Where's the thing? Um, that's not it. That's weird, it seems to have not be in my inventory anymore. The sharpening skull, you know what I mean? The sharpening stone that I could use to have 20% extra damage. Maybe I could only use it on that crappy sword. Odd. Oh, minus 5% damage. Well, that's cool. Um, right, what am I doing? What am I doing? Quests, journal, quests, quests. Skinning. Lovely. Right. Um, yeah, track it, please. So I gotta go out there and I gotta go and skin Frightener and then I gotta make a potion out of its insides. Oh, it's claw, I guess. Lovely stuff. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Loading screen coming up. And we return. Okay, let's have a look at our map. Right. Well, there's the frightener's carcass. What's that? Gate winch. I guess that was from before. There you are, beastie. Extract alchemical. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Opponent. Uh, opponents. Components. I can't read and talk. Left click on the frightened cre carcass. Creature, god. Uh, read books, gain information about how monsters and. Okay. It's not about ingredients before you can collect them. Lovely. Ooh, yeah, the eye. And the claw. Yeah, so that's required to prepare Triss's medicine. Transfer all. I should find Vesemir, meditate and prepare the potion. Should I do that inside then? I think I have to go inside to do that, don't I? I can't meditate out here. I can only meditate when I talk to him for some reason. Yeah, 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 I knew that, I knew that. I was just checking, I was just checking. I'm kind of glad I'm not using the uh, that the um, that fraps kind of bugged out during the loading screen, so I don't record them because because I'm not using the enhanced edition. The loading screens tend to be quite long, and I would find it very very difficult to um, fill them in with banter. Okay, so I, what do I do? I go to the fire? No. What's it pointing to? What's it pointing to? Player. Banquet hall. She's gone. Right, yeah, I need to fire place to um to meditate. Okay, so now I click on the vial to create a potion. Wait a minute. Right, where's the vial? There it is. So now I enter the alchemy scroll. Okay, good. Okay, right. Select the formula labeled potion for Triss to add ingredients to the vial automatically. Then left click on mix. Okay. So, yeah, potion for Triss and mix. Potion for Triss. Um, mix. Woohoo! But I gotta meditate first, don't I? Just meditate for an hour? That'd be okay. Do I level up? Do I get a level up? Apparently it tells me I level up, but I never see it. No, no, not yet. Not yet. Oh right, it did tell me what I needed to do, but I've forgotten. I have to go upstairs or something. Uh oh, let's look at our quests again. To Triss! Okay, it's telling me where to go. Upstairs, campfire, 
campfire, campfire, campfire, okay. The campfires are good. I'll talk to you a bit more. Yes? May I ask something? May I ask something? Of course. Any idea who attacked? Can we pond? No, but the mage suggests no ordinary bandits. We found salamander badges on the dead. I sense hard times ahead. Okay. Farewell. We have no idea what's going on. Effectively, no idea at all. I'm liking my new armor. Is it through this way? Yeah. Liking my new armor and nice armor. Gotta be up here. Why do you have to run everywhere? You know, you, you could walk like a normal person. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, okay. Need anything, Wolf? I have questions. What is it? What is it? Well, that's not very friendly, is it? Um. What do I use as the base for my potion? Alcohol. The better it is, the purer your potion. Oh, okay. My kind of potion. You're at home here. Always prefer an armory to a lab. Though Vesemir plays up the importance of potions, he's hardly an expert. He tries to teach everything he learned when he was young. I don't care for all these powders and other rubbish. Couldn't Triss help with Leo's mutation? We've never shown her the lab, and the last mutation was years ago. Vesemir can explain better. You think Triss never used magic to peek inside? She respects our secrets, and I trust her. So why not show her the lab? Triss would like to use our secrets to heal people and such, but it's never that simple. Heard about the gnome Alfred Nabel? No. Nope. I have amnesia. Through years of research, he <laughs> discovered an amazing substance. He intended it for use in mines and quarries, but failed to foresee other possible applications. Others realized that a substance designed to rip granite from the ground could destroy castle walls. Gunpowder? What happened to Alfred's discovery? Alfred committed suicide, and his lab burned down. Okay. Tell me about the trials. A three-stage process. The first is the choice. Leo completed it, enduring the hard training and diet. I presume it's more than a basic diet. Special mushrooms, mosses, and herbs are grown in the lab. Herbs? Combined with training, they accelerate muscle growth and digestion. Does everyone pass the first stage? Unfortunately not. The liver and heart often fail, the mind sometimes too, resulting in excessive aggression. Is that why we're all really ripped? I guess so. What's the second stage? The trial of the grasses. Before the raid, the lab contained vials. Alchemical hearths, formulas, herbs, and the grasses. Did you ever witness a trial? Just our own. I thought I'd gone mad when your hair turned white. The grasses affect the nervous system and result in lightning fast reflexes. Only four out of ten survive. Okay, and the third stage? Quite a cut. And the third stage? It involves changes like the mutation of the eyes, the bone marrow, hormones. But we see in the dark heal much faster than normal, and have increased resistance to poison. What's the cost? We're infertile. The changes are irreversible? Entirely. Oh, no baby... babies. Oh well. Baby girls. Oh well. Um... Did you see the magic storm? Yes. Just before it came, a swarm of night jars took flight. Hundreds of them. Fairly normal. Yet, usually less of them gather, and their cries rarely sound so desperate. When the storm came, I headed toward Kaer Morin. Farewell. I guess that's how he can get laid so much. 